Here's a little here's a little solar update. I don't have any batteries that are any good, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking the about 500 volts uh, open circuit DC panels and then I'm just running them straight to the inverter and then just powering things like right now I'm charging the car it's at about 220 volts or something uh oh it's flickering and <clears throat> in addition to that this AC is running over here and Got a fan blowing on the inverter over here. That that's the max. That was the maximum power point tracker, but I just skipped that altogether. These batteries were no good, so I'm not using that at all. It's just solar panels straight to inverter, and it's a split phase, so it's it's putting out 240. Here's how it works. <coughs> it's putting out 120 volts from here to here, 120 volts from here to here, and 240 volts from here to here. Or, actually, I think I set it to 230 right now. So this one is just running at 50% duty. So it's basically neutral. And then that's one of the hots, and that's the other hot right there. <coughs> and it's, see, notice that the capacitance on the output of the inductance here, they all have a common neutral all the way across there. At least that's how I did it, and it works. Okay. Well, now let's go take a look at where the panels are I added four extra so now it is each panel is about 45 volts open circuit and there's 12 in series there's two strings of 12 in series so <clears throat> the neat thing about doing it this way is you don't have to worry about your batteries going bad you waste a little power because sometimes you're not using it to its full capacity <laughs> but let's see here let's take a look in the combiner box and we'll see how the two strings come together See the there's the two pluses right there and then the two minuses right there. Right now I had just recently measured the voltage when it was charging the car and running the the air conditioner and it sagged the vo the panel voltage down to about 405 volts. <coughs> the nice thing about the inverter is that it just takes whatever power it needs and it just pulls the panel voltage down from 500 down to whatever until it's using the power that it needs and the bad part is that if you overload it it'll just it's like hitting a brick wall and it'll shut shut it down but it's not that big of a deal you just don't overload it <laughs> And I was, the mill can turn off and on no problem with it. It doesn't trip anything. It just starts up, sags the voltage for a second, and pops it right back up because the software, what it's doing is it's always, it's always pushing the two separate 120 volt phases back to 120 volts. So if one sags down, it gets pushed back up there's two separate scales going on and if if the other one goes up too high or too low it also is independently forced back to 120 
And that's about it. Nothing to really break down in the heat. I mean, before it's the batteries that have a terrible time out here in the summer, because this is south of Phoenix. So in this shop, it might get to 130 degrees, 120 maybe. <laughs> and batteries are not liking it out here. But, so now there are no batteries, just the solar panels, which will last forever.